Hi guys, this is Joshua. Welcome to Ohio's Outdoors. Today I have this giant backpack to open that I got from Tim Watson. And I also have this box. What's in it? Find out. Hey guys, welcome to Ohio's Outdoors. Hey guys, welcome to Ohio's Outdoors. Today I'm gonna open up a big bag of stuff from Tim Watson that I got, which is freaking awesome. And then I'm gonna open up something from Amazon, which I got, which I'm pretty excited about for my next trail hike. All right guys, so I got this giant backpack full of stuff from Tim Watson. He was just like, I have it kind of sitting around. I think he even recondoed me actually, but I'm totally okay with this. He can give me whatever he wants lying around. He always has cool stuff, so let's open this up. Which way should we go? In here we have, looks like a Satechi? Satechi, looks like maybe a, a phone mount of some sort. That would be kind of cool to put on like a trekking pole maybe or something. Uh, might break on me, but uh, I don't know. Let's keep going. Alright, here we have some steaks, tri-point steaks, cool. lightweight, I'm sure they're titanium, awesome, steaks, and always use, always use more steaks, put them on the bobby. Third item, what is in here, ooh, looks like a, uh, a guard for a fire, fire guard. Sweet. Or you can just have a lightweight aluminum fire guard. That's always kind of handy, maybe. With the wind coming at you. Came with its own little pouch. Maybe maybe I could use this as a, uh, when I'm on the top of a mountain, I can use it to sunbathe. You know, get that, get that nice glow on the bottom. I'll always want to be totally totally even in your sunbathing. Third pocket. Opening it up. And it looks like we have an inner trek, and I'm guessing this is a hammock. Inner trek hammocks. Looks decent. Better than the ones I have put up behind me. The dreaded $20 Walmart specials. This looks much more appropriate. And it's lightweight. Five, what do we got here? Stuff sack. Full of stuff sacks. Nice. All right. Pocket four. Item six. We have a squeeze pouch. Always good to have more squeeze pouches. We have utensil set. Pretty long, probably getting into the back of those mountain house meals for Tim. Okay, we have a Ozark Trail outdoor equipment 50, 78 inch uh, rectangular liner. That's always good. It's always good to have a liner in your bag. That way uh, your oils don't get your bag all gross on the trail. Let's keep going. Here we have a 48 degree bag by Kimura. Let's see how big this looks. This is pretty small. I like how small it packs down to. Oh, nice. That is awesome. Pretty good. Pretty good. That'll be a nice addition to the backpack. Now to get it back in the stuff sack, right? That was a tiny stuff sack. That 
over here because I barely sleep with any backs. Yes, I did just punch myself in the face there. Um, in the summer, I'll sleep with like a sheet, uh, just something just to kind of cuddle up with. I'm a side sleeper, so I like, like a big pillow basically. But uh, that will work out well. So we're on to another squeeze bag. So it's two squeeze bags. A little bit bigger one. That's awesome. I really, really get afraid of having not having water. So I'm always uh, a little hesitant to not leave without water. Uh, looks like uh, bug protection. Deep free bug protection. Okay, pocket stove. You uh, put the the small fire starters in there on the pocket stove. It seems to, or it's just the fire starters. Oh, okay, okay. So fire starters, always good. Always good to have the fire starters. All right, moving on. We have whoa, a companion black Norwegian knife. Wolf tracks. Um, all in one knife for bushcrafters, hunters, and outdoor people. Soft, high friction grip makes the knife pleasant to hold and easy to handle. Plastic sheath, sheath with a belt clip. Pretty decent. Oh, here's another knife. This one's a Pine Ridge. This is a little more my style. Like that one, this one, that one's just a little big. Uh, like maybe if I was like pairing stuff, like I was like, man, I need to go cut some limes and, uh, you know, we were having a party on the trail. Maybe I'd take this one, maybe some of those meetups and stuff, you know, just go a mile in and hike around the fire basically. But uh, I don't think I would actually take this on the back. Line. But this, something like this, it's small, it's compact, um, a little more durable, uh, you know, it fits in your palm, you can pack it somewhere. See. Here is a microfiber towel. Oh, man. Okay, so these things. Whoa, this is huge. This will be the last microfiber towel I ever use. Man, this is giant. Awesome. These are really nice when you need to dry off. Uh, does it wicks away the moisture very quickly? Packs away nicely. And there's a giant towel that fits into that much. It's really great. All right, we got a buff by Kanak of ours. Kanak. I like buffs. Always good to, you know, have. Put that up there. Moving on, we got a water bladder. Looks like uh, Kanak of ours. Um. Yeah, I think I remember seeing Tim uh, talk about this one, maybe. So we'll we'll test it, see if it will actually hold water. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it definitely looks good for maybe like a, a drip system. Um, you know, just letting it drip down, drain through your your Sawyer. All right, what's this? Oh, we got a. GF King Lens. Looks like a, a wide angle digital camera and mobile phone lens. All right, it looks like we got, oh, some tubing. Some pure flow camelback tubing with a bite valve. All right, so we got a eating tool. It's all these, looks like a bottle opener and a, a spoon. So that's cool. It's awesome. Maybe the kids will use this. They like they like the spoon fork knives and all that kind of like, things that do extra stuff. I always worry that it's going to cut the side of my mouth. All right. So I think the last item is the bag. Uh, my kids will definitely like this bag. It's uh, going to be something that they're going to have fun like filling up and trying to destroy. All right. So we got this, and open it up, see what it is. I know what it is, because I ordered it, but you don't, so wait to find out. So I drink soy as a primary food. 
Um, people don't know what that is, look it up. Uh, I'll put a link in the description. But uh, it is something that on the trail I think is really easy for me to eat, um, add water to, get up and go. You know, you don't have to worry about it. Some of it already has the coffee built in. But the only problem is, is that when I have a powder on the trail, I'm going to have an issue with trying to mix it up and mix it up with the uh, mixer bottle when a mixer bottle is just way too much space for me to need all the time on the trail. What I got was this Hideaway Collapsible Water Bottle. Anything, that's fine. All right, so we have this 18 ounce, one inch, dishwasher safe BPA free Hydraway Collapsible Water Bottle. Let's see if I can open it. Destroy this box here. All right, so this is a little smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, thought it was going to be more like the size of this in the pictures. So you can see, I mean, that's a little bit of a difference. But 18 ounces, I guess. What am I going to... Anyway, it's my fault, right? Alright, so this comes out like that. Oh, let's, let's untie it so it's not just suctioning itself. Alright, so there, there we have it. So my idea is that I'm going to use this to shake up my Soylent and be able to just shake the crap out of this and then pop it back into the, my bag when I'm done. You know? Done. That seems like a smaller, smaller thing than having a big, big jug. See, I don't even have... I mean, right now I was using this. For a while I was using this, putting the put the pre-mixed stuff in there, and that's just, that's a huge liter that I have to carry around for a couple days maybe, um, when I only drink like half of these at a time. That's just not, not really, not going to be acceptable, you know, it's not something that I, I want to do. Uh, but this little puck, this, this will work. I'm pretty excited to use it, uh, use it on the bike. Um, something I can just carry with me, put it in the uh, jersey when I'm finished. So, that's awesome. All right, guys. Well, this is Ohio's Outdoors. I'm Joshua. Please uh, subscribe, like, all that good doomajiggy.